When U.S. set off a nuke underwater, it went bad. In 1946, the U.S. detonated an underwater nuclear bomb. The device was named Helen of Bikini. It was suspended 90 feet below Bikini Atoll Lagoon. Dozens of Navy target ships were positioned nearby. The goal was to test whether ships could survive a nuclear blast. The second the bomb went off, all hell broke loose. A fireball ripped through the seabed, carving a 30-foot crater. Two million tons of water shot into the air. The column rose over 5,000 feet. A radioactive cloud blanketed the lagoon. The aircraft carrier Saratoga sank seven hours later. The battleship Arkansas was obliterated on impact. Three out of six submerged submarines sank to the bottom. Even the ships that stayed afloat became radioactive hazards. Radiation levels reached 20 times the lethal human dose. Cleanup teams were forced to retreat after Geiger counters spiked. The Navy tried scrubbing the ships with salt and foam. They even used nitric acid on brass and copper. None of it worked. Radiation spread to clean ships via workers' boots. Algae and mussels made the contamination even worse. Six wrecks were scuttled at Bikini Atoll. 36 ships were hauled 200 miles to Kwajalein. A few were moved to U.S. ports for study. The Prince Eugen eventually capsized and still sits half-submerged today. Many scientists believe the test had no real military value. No other underwater test happened until 1955. That one exploded 2,000 feet deep near San Diego. It damaged observation ships and spread more radioactive mist. Some crew members later died of cancer. Their families blamed the test. Only three more underwater nuclear tests were ever conducted. By 1962, nuclear treaties ended such experiments.